Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pink Envelope. We have Dorothy Jean Winter here. Really excited about this box because in fall, they made a bunch of changes. They upped this box, they added a holiday box. There were like several shifting pieces. So this is the first box since they had a glow up, I guess you could speak. And I did see a spoiler on Instagram. I try so hard not to look, but I was scrolling quickly saw something I liked, stopped, scrolled back, and it's in the box, so I know it's there. Anyhow, I can't wait to share it with you because I think you're gonna love it too. So this is Dorothy Jean Winter 2023 box, full spoilers. This is a quarterly subscription. The regular box, as they've had it for the, year, the past several years, is called the Collection, I think, or the Winter Collection, or the quarterly collection. It is just the quarter to quarter holiday box. It is 175, but they now have the new seasonal holiday box, which is very specific to the season nearest you. So we just got their Halloween box. They have a Christmas box coming up. That one's only $59.95. You can also bundle them together if you're interested and get both boxes. Shipping for the quarterly box is free in the US. The holiday seasonal box is only 10 bucks. Use coupon code TPE first you get $5 off your first box in your subscription. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six items, plus several of those are sets. And I think this is just the quarterly box they sent me this time. It's really heavy. So you never know with them. Sometimes we get a box that's the size of our front door. <laughs> and then others are like, well, this is still a big box. It just weighs so, so much. So Dorothy Jean is more of a modern or maybe even modern farmhouse style box that specializes in sending oversized items. With subscription boxes, there's usually like a certain size they ship up to, not with Dorothy Jean. They're sending all the things. We've got mirrors. Actually, ooh, I wonder if I can sneak in and take a photo. This mirror came in my spring or summer 23 box. It's literally the mirror hanging above my vanity in my guest bathroom. That's how huge it is. It is like a full size wall mirror and I hung it in here and I thought it was pretty perfect for the space. So those are the type of items you can expect to come in these boxes. Okay, the item I saw is right here on top. So that kind of makes me like feel good. We'll get that one out. It'll be out of my system and then I can look at the rest. It is a garland, but it's a six and a half foot long garland. So hold on. Like, how do I want to do this? I guess we'll just double it down. On a mantle, I wouldn't double it down, <laughs> but it's too long to hold in the air to hold to the side. It is made of the real touch material and I always get my leaves mixed up. This is a cedar garland. I can tell by looking at it versus my options here. So let me just hold it like this in front of the camera. It is the Real Touch Feel Garland. It's made of the material that I wouldn't store this in the heat, like in the attic, it will 100% get messed up, but you could put it outside and it would be durable enough. There's that guy. And this guy. So there's two, which is really crazy, you guys. One thing I wanna note real quick is I, they had to, rush pack my box to ship it to me early. So I know for a fact there's an item in here that they sent me a sample of that yours will be close to, but not exactly. And they were very clear in pointing that out. I think, and I'm gonna reach out to them, but just for the sake of the video, this one is supposed to be a Norfolk strand. And then this one's supposed to be a cedar strand because I saw that you get two but on my notes here, it says that there is one six and a half foot Norfolk garland and one six and a half foot cedar garland. And I got two cedars, which just so you know, is completely fine with me. I have so many cedar inspired things. This really works well for me. But I also went to their Instagram. You can play on their Instagram if you don't already. And you can see they, no, no. There we go. And they have them intertwined there. And those are two different ones.
So I think that I was supposed to get two different ones. There is a chance you're gonna get two different ones. Maybe there's a questionnaire and you can pick, I don't know. I'll put a little pop-up down here to clarify once I've spoken to them. Um, but you do get two garlands, that I know for a fact. So I'm gonna put them right here. I have already decorated for Christmas and I was pretty sure these were coming. So I have a whole door frame. I've been like waiting because I wanna drape these up and around the door frame and then on the door put two cedar wreaths that I already have. Okay, woo wee. This is like, it's like Christmas. I'm like throwing everything out here. Must be something awfully large down here that this much packing is around it. Like I said, they have a tendency to send large, oversized, and weighty items. Well, this is really, really cool. It looks like it's a white bowl that could be a planter or like you could fill this with bulbs. I mean, you could, you literally could put a real plant. It has a drain hole in it and it's made for it. But you could put brown um, craft paper or what's it called, parchment paper, butcher paper, there it is, in the bottom and have food coming out of this. This is here, the box is cramping the look. I'm gonna put the box down here so you can't see it. Look at that together. That is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Very high quality. The greeneries, I don't love the stem. I'll be real quick, or, no, you can't even see it. You have to, just, only on this one side you can see it. It's kind of rubbery and weird, so make sure you tuck and hide that. The rest of it is fabulous. And then set this bowl. You could do a tablescape with this in a heartbeat. You could totally do a tablescape. Where's the end of this one? Let's just play for a little bit real quick, yeah. Oh my gosh, that is so, so pretty. Like that is so wildly pretty. And then, I mean, so I think I got this item out. Ooh, these ladies, they have to do some creative packing. I'm so impressed. Oh, well, hold on. Let me pour them out here. Who don't fall? You could put, I don't know, anything. Like that brown paper, the, the packing material like you're showing, put that in the bottom and then put these on top. Or gosh, you could put these in the garland itself to spruce the garland if you were laying it out. I wonder if this is what, yes. The pine cone filler in your box is slightly different than the one they will be receiving. We needed to get an item for you to show. The pine cone filler shown here is slightly different than the one that will come in the box. So there's a heads up. This is like an inspo of, oh, that one's flat and cute, of what is to come with the filler in your box. I feel like we should like put these all throughout in the garland here. That'd be so cute. Let's just put a few up real quick because it'll be pretty. That's fun. I'm gonna scoot the rest of them over here. And then, we have this guy and this guy, which are the same shape. What is this? Oh my gosh. Like grab it all. Uh, we'll put these right here because these three are the same shape. So let's do these guys real quick. Let me grab my scissors. This looks like a bell. If it's a bell, I mean, it's gonna be really, really perfect for my house. I've used a lot of bells throughout my house. I started actually last year collecting bells for designs. It is for sure I can bell, I can tell. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, the bowl is durable. Let's come to find out. And just so you'll know, there's a super secret hidden bell in your big bell. <laughs> now I'm gonna be all paranoid opening that one. Well, everything's very durable. In case you were wondering, I went ahead and tested that. That's what we do around here. So there is a large bell here. Oh, it really does do bell. But what, what is chime, ding? What is the sound that a bell makes? Like this type of bell, gong? It sounds more like a gong. Here's the little guy. So here are these two together. Oh man. So I'm thinking 
If you've seen my living room, you already know I have the bells draped off the side of the fireplace panel. If you have not seen my living room design, go over to Instagram or the YouTube community tab. I have on there a few photos of my mantle. I'm about to put up the pink Christmas tree and all that good stuff on there. If you don't already follow me, go ahead and follow me there. I typically put the same things on Facebook and Instagram, and I also try to put them on the YouTube community tab so you don't have to follow on all three, unless you just want to. So I think I'm gonna hang these on this garland that goes on the door. On the opposite side of the bells, I'm gonna hang these three as a set over there. Cause let's push this away so you can look. I think they would be so cute and a good coordinating balance to the set of bells that are falling on the opposite side of the same room. Same wall and everything. This with the garland could be an entryway, like your entryway. It could be your dining room table. It could be a sofa back table. It could be your mantle. It also could hang around a mirror. It could hang around a door. The, these pieces are not as universal. These two garlands and those three bells can literally go anywhere. Put them outside of your front door, drape it on your front door, have it come down the sides and hang the bells. Very universal. And then save this, these guys in this bowl for something else. Put it on the entryway table or just set your dining room table with all of these things. That would be super, super gorgeous. I always like Dorothy Jean stuff because I feel like it's very universal. It's not like there's one spot it can go. It can go in a bunch of places. Like that mirror, it was in the entryway, then it was uh, in the bathroom and it hangs on the wall and the other time it was propped against the wall on a furniture piece. Very universal. And then, so let me scoot these over. We have all three of these. I think I'm gonna have to scoot this. The real touch stuff doesn't scoot very easily because it's like, oh, not sticky, it's silicone-y. Jonathan's favorite home decor subscription box is Dorothy Jean. He absolutely loves their box. And so when he sees this, he's gonna freak out. If he were here, I would have him come look because y'all have never seen his reaction when I show him this box. And it's definitely something we need to get on camera. These are huge, this is so tall. Is it a candlestick holder? It is. Is this a set of three candlestick holders? They look like, like Ironworks candlestick holders. Like they have, let me open this last one then I'll hold it up so you can see. A very iron looking texture to them, but they're not extremely heavy. Like I think you probably could put these on a floating shelf. Okay, so I'm gonna hold this guy up. Can y'all see the texture? It looks like it's been hammered out iron, but it's not as heavy as you would anticipate. I, they're weighty enough that if you wanted to decorate outside with them or display them on an outdoor dining table, they're not gonna blow over easy, but they're not so heavy you couldn't put them on a floating shelf. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to like set it up as if it were a table. So put these to the front. I'm gonna try not to knock everything off, but you know, we'll just see how far I make it. So if we're pretending this is a dining room table and this goes down the center, excuse me, Beller. And then if you have two of the same, lay them down in opposing directions so that your greenery is going in two different directions. If you have two different ones, it might not make as big of a difference. You might be able to lay them side by side uh, facing the same direction, but I would still twist them so that the leaves intertwine and you get more of that thickness. And then if you're doing a mantle or you're doing a tablescape, you can add these in like so to, mm, yeah, like that maybe. Oh, I have to move inverted when I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> Oh my gosh, on your table here. Honestly, now that I'm playing with this a little bit, I would open up the center. Let's see what this looks like. Shimmy, shimmy. So that the greenery 
then twist it there, then twist it one more time down here. Comes together on either side, wrapping around, giving a full look. But then you could keep these either in the center, like you could put one here, you could put them on all three sides. If you have a table like me where the back is, nobody's back there, it looks out a window. I put everything kind of forward facing, you could design it on either side. But if you wanted to turn this exact thing, here, let's do this. Let's see, maybe these smaller pieces. Anytime, anytime you've ever seen me design a bowl like this and you see all the filler on top and you're like, oh, it's so full. It's tissue paper. I never fill it to the top. So go get tissue paper like this. Then uh, depending on how full you want to be, I would go get some pine cones just from a neighbor's yard and put them in there. Then I would put these items on top to make sure none of the brown paper is showing. I wouldn't keep the yard pine cones on top. I would keep these prettier ones on top. And literally, you could have your dining room or your mantle or whatever, whatever, with just this box alone. Or you could piecemeal it out. Like, I'm gonna hang these around the door. I'm gonna hang these on the edge. I'm gonna put this in the center of the coffee table in the middle of the living room. And I think these three are gonna go on that entryway, that gray entryway piece in front of the slatted wood section. I'm still decorating that section, it's not done, but that coordinates really well with that side of things. Oh, but the bells would too, because I'm gonna do golds. Hmm. Well, if by chance I get that figured out before I post this video, I'll pop a photo up. I highly doubt that I do, so just make sure you follow me on Instagram or the YouTube community channel, because that's how you're gonna see it. So this is the Dorothy Jean Winter Quarterly Box. I do not have the Christmas box, but if you follow them on Instagram, you can see spoilers there. And I love that this can last past Christmas. I always get so sad when we hit Christmas and we have to take everything down and it feels so naked in the house. This is winter, not Christmas. I might tie some big bows on these that I have to take off or maybe even these, oh, big stiff bows on these, be so cute. Um, that I would have to take off, but at least it would last all the way up until I like flood the house with Valentine stuff. Once again, Dorothy Jean, well done. Super cute. I cannot wait to show this to Jonathan. And if you guys have any questions, put them down below. Dorothy Jean will be looking. I'll be looking. We want to get those answered for you. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. We have so many unboxings coming. We're going to be powering through because I want to find you guys great gift options all the way until like maybe December 22nd, just a couple days before Christmas. And then I'll go on Christmas break and Crystal and I will be with our family. So subscribe so you don't miss those. And if you are still looking for gift ideas, go visit our holiday gift guide. It is a really cool gift guide. It's brief, precise, has all the information plus coupon codes in one spot on our brand new website. So you can go to the URL down below, click there, it'll pop you right over and you can do some shopping. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely amazing holiday week, and I hope that you have a blessed upcoming December. If you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye, y'all.